Good day people, another video. In this one let's talk about movement sketching and what the hell that is. In this one I'm joined by my good friend... Hi. Alex. Alex, good to have you here buddy. Good to nice. have you here in the US. <laughs> The idea of movement sketching is something that both of us really like to explore. So maybe let's briefly explain what is movement sketching. For me, movement sketching is a way to frame the way I create sequences. So there's kind of this light-hearted approach to kind of coming into the space, maybe with some intention. We go into the space and then we explore and on the go, we kind of sketch out what the whole thing should be about with the option of adding something on the go or erasing something altogether. Nothing is permanent. I think of like moving with a pencil versus with a pen. And from there you might find something that you really like and you're like, oh, I'm gonna keep this in my little doodle notebook and some stuff might go in the trash, no big deal. <laughs> Thanks. So the way this video is going to be structured, and we at first will show our own little sketches, our own little sequences that we are trying. At the end of this video, we will give you some tools and ideas for your practice. So hang in there as at the end, a couple cool ideas for you will be there. So Alex, for your sketch, what do you have in mind? So coming into the space today, I'm feeling pretty decent. Also, that's always a big check in for me not feeling great maybe it's something a little bit more soft floor worky but I'm ready to roll so I'm gonna go in with a reverse out so now it's a matter of where am I placing the reverse out maybe I start right away with it my body is taking me into the floor so maybe first round no big deal had a little bit of a fall maybe this time I go for a little bit more of a wave into a slide. Interesting. Kind of like starting and then on the go you see what happens. Exactly. Starting with a tree, maybe a branch goes this way, maybe it actually ends up going this way. So let's practice a little bit and see where it kind of like goes, no? Perfect. Let's yeah. do it. So Neil, anything yeah. you're working on specifically in your sketches? Yes, so actually I'm going to start the session with something that I saw in a recent video of mine where I didn't go for it. I don't know why, but I, I kind of rewatched the video and it was interesting. It was this idea of 360 kick. Mm -hmm. Carrying it through into like kind of like a backward shape. Whoa, that's and really cool. Yeah, it's super cool. And when I saw the video, I kind of like fell into the floor today. Today I'm actually trying to go for it and finding like something afterwards, maybe something before to kind of carry through with the momentum into this arch, which is a more tricky variation for me. It's not super easy, but it should be fun. So also here I kind of play with it and then let's see where we end up. Yeah, let's see the uh, little sketch here. Yeah, man, let's go. Sketching for movement purposes is the means of conducting the initial moves or etchings of a sequence that welcomes repetition and alterations as the session of discovery continues. It shapes sequences spontaneously based on the current direction of momentum, shift in axes, and overall physical and mental capacities on that day. From a mental state, sketching gives complete permission to play and make mistakes. It's like an open-ended question that doesn't have to have the right answer and doesn't have to be just right. The possibilities are endless and none of them are perfect and simultaneously none of them are wrong. We're just sketching.
I'll take it. Nice. <laughs> so actually we just talked about it that it really did feel like sketching at the end we kind of had our sequences sequences but they felt okay not something like you said to put on the wall already yeah yeah you know it's still at the end of the day the sessions was a sketching session so yeah. for me personally when i was moving uh, i've been really trying to dial in the uh, aesthetics of the rise with like a straighter leg and a better landing clean and uh you know in isolation it's been working but better time than ever to try it in a sketch eh, it didn't go exactly how as i planned but again yeah something that is going to stay in my little doodle book but maybe not uh you know on my wall although it's going to be on youtube so <laughs> exactly <laughs> Yeah, I think this mindset of sketching is also something applicable to practice in general that sometimes we're just sketching and things are not perfect, they're not cleaned up yet, they're not shiny and it's okay, right? I guess a couple of you out there might have this mindset of I want to perfect it and it must be clean, toes, toes pointed and all of that. Yes, sure, one day it can be, but for now, let's just take it as it is. A sketch. Exactly, for sure. It's a permission to play around and make mistakes and Lovely. you know it's the only way you're gonna learn nice yeah we don't make mistakes we have happy accidents as already teased now here are two ideas one of my ideas and one of Alex's ideas to give you a quick starter for some sketching okay we're proposing something and then you can try it out and you can simply see where it will take you we will also show a couple variations, but once again, see it more as an inspiration, as a spark that you can try out and then diversify on the go. So my variation is kind of starting um, in a modified cartwheel, which I call the Jaguar. So it's just hopping and landing with one leg, kicking around. And from there, taking it sideways into the floor, into this loaded position. So that's the idea. Now in this position right here you have plenty of tools and plenty of pathways to go and maybe even before me showing you a couple, pause the video, try it for yourself and see what happens and then come back and maybe find inspiration in some of the ideas that I will be showing. So the first variation, a kind of landmark position we're looking for, I'm calling Perching Dragon. So there's a sense of a spiral happening, which is ideally an avenue where we can either stay up, we could take flight from, or we can transition into the floor. And to start off, maybe we work more of the transition into the floor, into a seat. It's as simple as coming back out. Other option is similar to a going in that around the world position. Other variation might have just a tad bit of acrobatic move. Alright people, that is the end of this video. Alex, thank you very much for joining in. Thank you, Neil. Uh, and sharing your ideas on this idea of sketching. And we hope that all of you out there found interesting tools in this video. Maybe just inspiration from our practice, maybe something um, in the sequences that we showed. Of course, Alex's work you can find online. Everything is listed down in the video's description. And my stuff is always there, as you know. And then both of us, we do have online programs. I do have all of the Finding Flow work, right? 
And Alex, you also have something. What is that about? Yeah, so I have a 12-week mobility program that I've done through our mutual friend, Karsten. And uh, basically, it's what I would consider all the main mobility exercises you might need for daily practice and daily living. Cool. Everything is down there. And as per usual, when you come through these YouTube videos, use the code YouTube10 and you will get a 10% discount on the online programs, both Alex and mine. Absolutely. That's a cool thing. And uh, yeah. That's basically it for this one. If you have anything that you uh, wish to kind of see get covered in, a, in the next YouTube video, just write a comment. If you do have appreciation for this one, just let us know in the comments. Subscribe to this channel for the weekly videos that will be coming. And I guess that's it for now. Sounds good to me. Over Appreciate it, Neil. Over yes. and out. Bye, guys. Ciao, ciao.